Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I'm Kashan Jaykumar. This is a lovely session of Sisem Modak or Ellu Kulukatai. It's going to be a very simple method and it's very easy to prepare also. So, let's look into this lovely dish. We have already published the coconut pour and kolkatai or the motak. Here in the information card, you get the you can press and watch it, or you can go to the information tab and click for the link. So here we have the sesame seeds. First, let's just fry them. I'm using white sesame seeds. It depends on whatever you like or your preference and the availability. You can use either white till or black till. Can you hear? The seeds have started to splutter and I am getting a nice aroma. So let us remove it from the heat. We will allow the CCM seeds to cool down. Meanwhile, let us roast the rice flour. See, it depends if, when, if you are going to make this flour by soaking rice, allowing it to dry and powdering it in your mixer jar or if you have the ready-made shop bought flour, Whatever it is, it's better to give it a light roast or fried. So that is then that is how they give the elasticity and they will make the uh, modaks to remain very soft. Now here we have given a very light roast. Can you see the flour has become free flowing? Like if you are going to do a line like this, you'll be able to do a nice line. So this is a free flowing texture. If this texture is arrived, then your flour is done well. Now let's heat two portions of water. Now let the water keep boiling. Meanwhile, we will grind our sesame seeds. Add the same quan equal quantity of jaggery to this. Can you have a look at this? See the texture and they both are ground together you get a nice soft powder and even the oil has started to ooze out. So this is the kind of texture which will be required for the filling. Now add the pinch of salt. Now just adding a spoon of ghee or oil will enhance the quality and texture of the dough. The water has started to boil so just remove it. Into the boiling water, add the warm flour. See, give it a nice mix like this. You will get a nice soft playable dough. I am going to use this kind of a plate to steam the modaks. So you can use the regular idli plate or this kind of a plate if you have it. Grease your plates. We have the done filling. Now let's add the cardamom powder to this. Now let's grease the hands. Just take a small portion of the dough and make it into a nice ball like this. Now what you have to do is put it to the center of your hand and keep pressing on the sides. Here you have the modak ready. Because there are a lot of varieties of rice flour, so some of them might take a lot of water. So in that case, you will have to heat some more water, boiling water and add it to this and make it into a soft dough. So this is another variety. Just give it a bend. Slowly. Now we are done with the modaks, so let us steam them. It will take at least 10 to 7 to 10 minutes, so it depends on the amount of modaks and the vessel you are going to keep. So after 10 minutes, our modaks are ready to be served. This session of making the lovely, simple, traditional modaks. Do try this and keep us posted. 
Those at Pizza is all about enhancing your taste buds. If you like this video, press like, subscribe to Those at Pizza, and for your printable recipes, visit thoseatpizza.com. Thank you and bye bye.